you're Olivia Miles, two feet in the paint, you dump it off to Dodson. That's a recipe for success. But she finished, more importantly. And the steal from Notre Dame on the break. Here's Miles going oh. in. And the take, yes. Oh. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Mikasa Robinson and Olivia Miles. A little chippy there. Chippy? Between these two? <laughs> no. You know, just feeds into, you know, how much these two teams like each other. Fans inside Purcell giving their opinion as well. Well, Olivia Miles, this is what I was talking about. Just a creative playmaker, holds the ball with that one hand, and Robinson didn't like something. Either. She didn't like the look afterward, the stare down that Rock, uh, Miles gave after the make. And you got a Mabry involved. There's always a Mabry involved for Notre Dame, right? <laughs> and considering the fact, I mean, this is one of those times where you have to talk to your freshman in Olivia Miles. Obviously, yes, the make, but you're still down by a good chunk of points. And Yes, you want to see that attitude and that swag kind of come out, but that's not the time to do it. You want to make your layup and get down on the other end of the court. To me, it's it, Tiffany, they're going to review, uh, you know, obviously the previous instance. Just look to me, just maybe a double tight the cold between the two of them. But there was some, a little bit of dialogue between Van Lith and I, I couldn't see who else. So here's the play, Robinson Now and see Miles. the look Miles gives here. Yep. Gets in her face and One Robinson shove. didn't care for here it. Here comes the shove back, right? Okay. Right. Van Lith reminding Miles to score, I'm assuming. So I think it's just between the two of them. So it appears Miles may have approached Robinson first there. Um, you talked about the fight from Notre Dame and obviously some frustration building with the Irish with the start, but perhaps that is kind of the Kickstarter for this group. It's it's probably not what Neil Ivy drew up right. uh, in terms of what's going to get your team going. I think you could have delivered that play, maybe made a face without the shoving, but nonetheless, hey, look, they're looking for a spark. Uh, they're, they're at 10 points now, obviously down by a sizable lead, but... So they're still reviewing this here and conferring at midcourt, going back to the scorer's table to get some greater clarification here. 2.49 remaining in the first half. One on Ray Long. Robinson and number four, Notre Dame. Have another foul on Mabry. And number 10 for taunting. So we had double intention on the push, push, push. So was it, was it Van Lith and Mabry? So I mentioned the action that happened after Miles and Robinson. Clearly the officials thought it was enough. And so now the coaches having a conversation with the officials at half court. So all of those fouls okay. were whistled as intentional okay. fouls, okay? So that goes against Mabry and Miles for Notre Dame. Robinson and Van Lith for Louisville. And essentially, nullifies. Yeah. It, they cancel each other out. Louisville ball. We're glad we got a chance to really dissect him and really check into 
who was all involved in the play and after the play. Then an all-important game for the Bears tomorrow at 7 Eastern right here on ESPN2 as the Big 12 regular season title up for grabs as they face off against Iowa State in Ames. Well, and Alyssa Smith trying to make the case for a number one overall draft pick. I mean, I think it's going to be really interesting how that shakes up between Ryan Howard,